Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toy Escapades channel in Malaysia. Some pretty major retro toy news that I wanted to cover here on the channel today. Mesco Toys appear to be delivering the ultimate Batman 1989 movie retro themed toy universe to fans by replicating most of what was in the original Toy Biz catalog of figures and vehicles back in 1989. And Toy Biz was of course the first and only company that was making toys of the Tim Burton Batman movie back when the movie came out in 89. And they also had the very first ever toy vehicle version of the 89 movie Batmobile to ever hit commercial retail. Judging from the blockbuster merchandising craze surrounding the movie back then, which was dubbed by the press as Batmania, they must have sold thousands of this Batmobile. This version of the Toy Biz Batmobile is really interesting because it incorporates a look that was never actually featured in the actual movie. Even though these were official movie tie-in toys, this version of the 89 Batmobile was something that we never saw before. Basically, it was presented as a roadster with an open top, no canopy cover. You've got Batman behind the wheel, riding in this thing, fully exposed to the environment. Anybody can take a shot at him, all right? It's ridiculous. But at the same time, this was one of the most fun versions of the Batmobile that was ever released. More importantly, it was one of the only Batmobile toy versions that ever had room for two occupants, a driver and a passenger. That's right, as crazy as it sounds, the majority of 1989 Batmobile toy vehicles that were ever released in the market only incorporated room for one driver, right? That includes the very lavish 89 Batmobile that McFarlane Toys released last year. It only had room in there for Batman to be seated. And it seems like Toy Biz got the formula right the first time around. And now Mesco Toys appear to be revisiting that classic blueprint by giving us their version of what is possibly the ultimate toy Batmobile that's ever been released in this particular scale. And what that scale is, is for their 5 points series of action figures, which are about 3.75 inches in height, perfectly roughly in scale with all of the old stuff that Canon was doing and even Toy Biz back in the day. So this fits in very well with the existing retro Batman toy universe that was out there in the late 80s and early 90s. Now, this version of the 89 Batmobile that Masco is putting forward appears to be able to do everything. Everything that you could ever want the vehicle to do. First of all, it has seats for two. Okay, that is just freaking fantastic. And I know a lot of collectors are going to be locking in their pre-orders for this thing just based on that information alone. The fact that it has two seats. Next up, it has hidden machine guns that flip out. Okay, that is just freaking awesome. It seems customary that an 89 Batmobile toy vehicle would have that feature. But in recent times, we've seen that that's not always been the case. If you remember, not even the 89 Batmobile that McFarlane did came with flip out machine guns or any other kind of weapons. Unless you got the cool weapons upgrade kit that was released by Ramon Toy. Among the other special effects here is that the vehicle also comes with an attachable exhaust flame effect to recreate the scene in the movie where it is rocketing away from explosions and danger. So you can do all that. But the one surprise here that really set me back, okay, was the fact that it comes with the armored shields, okay? This is something that I think has never been presented in a Batmobile toy vehicle of this scale. None of the kind of vehicles had this thing. You have an armored shield cover that fits over the entire Batmobile to replicate the scene in the movie where it is being riddled with bullets and machine gun fire, but nothing affects it, okay? It doesn't even get a scratch because the armored shields protect it. And you know what? This is not exactly the best particular look, I think, for the Batmobile, but it is incredible that they've offered you the option to have this whole cocoon thing, all right, fit over it. Like I said, it's never been presented before in a Batmobile toy vehicle of this scale. So the fact that Masco is doing it, I think that is just another step in making this the ultimate 89 Batmobile, an entire upgrade from everything that Toy Biz first presented to us 35 years ago. But the thrills do not stop there because Masco is also giving us three of the action figures that were also included in that original 1989 wave. And these are the Michael Keaton Batman figure, the Joker figure, and his henchman, Bob the Goon. All right. Now, these will all be presented in retro packaging cards, Okay, just like the ones that came out in 89. Of course, the original cards 
are very dynamic looking. It follows the classic Star Wars style of packaging of having the action figure neatly sealed in one corner of the card while the rest of the card is blanketed with dynamic graphics of the character in action. Mesco is bringing this look back for this series of three figures. These figures are part of Mesco's five points series of figures in which all of them have five points of articulation. In that sense, I would say that it's somewhat lacking in terms of what Toy Biz originally gave us. The Toy Biz figures had more articulation, you could actually bend them at the knees. But I would say that overall, Mesco's presentation here has improved the sculpting of these figures and added way more accessories. Let's look at the Michael Keaton Batman figure. He comes with four interchangeable arms. You see that both sets of hands here are different. One set of hands are open, while the other is closed in clenched fists. Okay, I find it interesting that rather than just have you swap out the hands, they make you swap out the entire arms, all right? Now, the costume looks great, okay? Granted, these are just renders, I believe, at this point, okay? But, you know, what they've done here with the costume looks fantastic. And then he also comes with fan-favorite accessories like the grapple hook and the batarang. But one thing I have to say is that that face cup, okay, even though it's an improvement over what Toy Biz gave us back in the day, but that face cup that they're showing us here definitely isn't Michael Keaton. That's the most frustrating thing here. It doesn't even have any resemblance to Keaton, not the lips, not anything, all right? Now, maybe these aren't meant to be actual actor likenesses. I'm not really sure, but you know what? It is frustrating to get an 89 Batman figure. That's an improvement over what we had before, but still, okay, still lacking. Now, next up, we have the Jack Nicholson Joker figure. The original movie Joker figure that Toy Biz put out back in the day was notorious for having zero resemblance to his movie version, okay? He looked nothing like Jack Nicholson. You know, maybe they just couldn't go there, all right? But whatever the case was, they just went with a comic-styled Joker and slapped him onto a movie card, all right? Now, this new version, I have to say, looks a whole hell of a lot more like Jack Nicholson, even though it's not really quite there also. Let me know in the comments. But now, compared to Batman, he only gets one interchangeable arm. The right arm, this one has got a pointed finger. But... Interestingly, he has two head sculpts, okay? He's got an alternate head. One's got the hat on, the other doesn't. But hey, look, if they were going to be doing this, why couldn't we just get an alternate unmasked Bruce Wayne? Okay, why couldn't we just get a Michael Keaton Bruce Wayne face? I would have liked that, right? And also, he gets some other accessories here like the cane and the megaphone, okay? The bullhorn, you know, stuff they used in the movie. A very interesting mix here. This is a pretty good joker movie figure definitely better than what we had back in the day as well but i think that the biggest surprise here is what we're seeing here with the joker's henchman bob the goon i have to say that this bob the goon character is very much a fan favorite a lot of people have been requesting for a properly made action figure of him over the years and it seems like masco has listened to those cries what they've given us here is quite possibly the ultimate bob the goon action figure and not just bob alone it seems like he's got parts here to create an entirely new goon figure as we saw in the movie as well. There was a bunch of goons and you know what? He's got the most accessories. Okay, he's got four interchangeable arms. He's got two swords. He's got the camera. Okay, he did use the camera in the movie and he's got a knife, all right? And also the alternate head portrait that allows you to make an entirely different figure from this one main body. Guys, they just went all out here, right? I didn't expect to see this level of intensity with a Bob the Goon figure, but that's what we're getting here, more so than even Batman and the Joker. And guys, you know what? This is a pretty incredible set. How much is it actually going for? Well, it's up for pre-order right now on the Mesco website. You can get all of this stuff. You get the Batmobile plus all three of the figures, for $110, okay? That might seem a little bit steep. I don't know, okay? What I might say is steep, somebody else might tell me it's cheap, okay? So you gotta let me know. Anyway, if you don't want the action figures and if you just want the Batmobile alone, you can purchase it separately for $50. I think $50 for what we're seeing here with this is pretty much a steel deal. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Me personally, I think it's fantastic that Masco has revisited the Batman franchise from 35 years ago, giving us upgraded versions of, of these classic action figures and vehicles from my childhood. Let me know what you think of all of it in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch all of you guys again real soon with more content right here. Take care out there.